Okay, in this video, we're going to do the uh, form. So just to show you where this form will go. In the loan installment calculator, the form will go right here. This is where the user will enter in how much the loan is, what's the interest rate, how long is it for, and will they make an extra payment. So we're going to do that right now. Okay, and that's going to go under the loan source div. Okay, so I have the loan form will go here. So let's get started with that. Uh, I'm going to put this in a form, and then all the all the elements in the form are going to be put into a table. So we have our form, and I'm going to name this, and I'm going to need the name for the JavaScript later. Okay, so in the form, we have a table. So the table. Uh, and I'm going to style this. I'm not sure if I actually need this, but I'm going to put a... Did I already do that? I might have done that already. Let me check the CSS. I did not. Well, I'll leave it in there for now, because if I don't need it, I'll just take it out. So we got the 10 pixels for the margin. Let's close the table. Okay, so let's get started. So let's start up our row. In our row, I'm going to have the loan amount. And then underneath, or not underneath, but the next cell, we're going to have the input. So type, text, name. And I'm going to call this loan AMT, so loan amount. Size 10. And that should do it. Then we're going to have the number of months. So first cell, I'll say number of months. The second cell will have, what should we name it? You know, I'll just call it months. It's easy. And then size, I'm going to make all the size 10s so they're consistent. And that should do it for that row. Okay. Then we have our annual interest rate. And so let's see. Type, text, name. Uh, I guess we can just call this rate. That seems easy. Size 10. Okay. What else? Oh, the annual, or I'm sorry, the extra monthly payment. There we go. So we have our extra monthly payment. And what should we call that? Um, let's just call it extra. Size 10. Okay, so that should give us our form. Let me just uh, save that and let's go take a look at it. Okay, so we have all this. Now what we need is our calculate button down there. So let's go create that now. I'm actually going to have two different buttons. Okay. The first button is going to be our calculate button. So it's a button. Now I'm going to have an on click uh, handler, event handler, and it's going to call the function uh, check. Now, this is what's going to do is it's going to, once a user tries to calculate using the information given or that they've, they've given, uh, this, is, this function is going to check to basically, uh, we can call this validate. Now, let me do that. Validate. It's going to validate the information, make sure the user entered in, um, you know, proper, you know, real numbers, not, you know, num uh, letters or names or anything like that. And I'm going to say calculate. Okay. Now, after a user has either looked at the information or if they mess something up, I want them to have the option to start over. So I'm going to have an on click. I'm going to create a function called start over. And on the button, I want to say start over. Okay. I 
think that's it for the form. Let's uh, let's go take a look at it again. Okay, I think that will do it. I don't don't think there was anything else. Oh, you know what? I did want to put under the annual interest rate because sometimes when you're like if you're doing this on by hand, when you use the annual interest rate, you're using the rate as a decimal. But in the calculator, I want I want the user entered in as a percentage. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right after rate, I'm going to put a break tag. And I'm going to span. I'm going to make. I'm just going to make this smaller. So font size. Um, I don't know, 80 percent. And then in parentheses, I'm going to say an example. If you're going to enter in like 4.5 percent, oops. Uh, if your in, your interest rate's 4.5 percent, I want you to enter in 4.5, uh, not 0 0.045, something like that. And I want you to enter in as 4.5. Okay, that should be it. Sorry, right, now let's go save it and let's go take a look. Okay, and I think that's good. I, I, it has everything I want, so that's it for the form. Uh, so now what we're going to do is start the JavaScript on validating the information the user enters in.